Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to create an approval flow in the mobile version of the Flow app, in this case for Android. As you see, I have that installed on my Android device here. I have also a bunch of the other Microsoft apps for Android, but uh, mostly I'm going to be using the OneDrive and the SharePoint one. So let's go into the browser first and log in to office.com. I'm going to sign in on my demo account here. We already saved the password, so that should be fast. The reason I'm logging in to SharePoint here is that I, want, that I want to keep the URL because I'm going to be typing that URL a couple of times, and uh, I don't like typing, especially when I'm doing a demo. So I don't want to bore you too much. So I want the URL to this site, the URL that I see on top there. And the best way to get only that and not the site pages bit is to press down on the image and copy the um, site URL there. Then I'll go back to my flow. and I've already logged in there. I'm going to go into flows and create a new flow. I like this plus button at the top there because that actually gives me the option to select from blank instead of going from a template. If I start by start adding flows at the bottom here, it gives you all the templates. And I actually find the templates a bit overbearing. There's a bit too much going on there. So I want to have a bit more control, especially when I'm explaining this. So I'm going to use the SharePoint connector, and that shows me all the SharePoint triggers. So I want to use the trigger when a file is created. And here we go. And that's the first time I'm going to enter the URL. So I'm going to paste that, the URL, hold down, and paste. There we go. Done with that. I'm going to use the library procedures. Done. Because uh, approving procedures, that's what I'm going to be doing here. So I'm going to add an action. And there is actually a special connector for approvals. Those are built-in flow approvals. So let's use that one. There you go, approvals. Start an approval. And I'm going to title of this. Uh, I haven't been able to actually type something in here, but it only works with dynamic properties. So I'll use the name of the, the document that I've uploaded. And I'm going to assign that to myself. And eventually I'll type the email address and I'll get a suggestion. There we go, that's me. All right, and the details, I don't want any of those, but I do want to link, of course, back to the item. So I'll select the link to item, dynamic property, and uh, that's all I need. So I'm gonna add a condition to check if this response value is approve or reject. And then I'm going to select if that is equal to, that's a good one, of course, and choose a value. I haven't been able to type in there either, so actually I'm going to go into advanced mode and type it in there. That works fine for me. So approve there. And, and it, in basic mode, then it actually saves that value. So then now I'm going to add the actions if yes or if no. So if yes, then I want to actually update the item. SharePoint item, of course, which is in this case a file. So I'm going to update the file properties. Again, it's the same one. Pasting in the URL. Selecting the library procedures. And setting the ID to the one that was just created, the file that was created. And I'm going to set that value, or the approval value, to approved. There we go. So now if no, then I'm going to add an action here. Again, I'm going to into the SharePoint one and update the file properties again. Enter the URL to the site once more time. And the SharePoint library name is procedure still. And um, the approval value is going to be rejected in this case. There we go. So that's my workflow. Now I'm just going to enter a name for this. Approve procedure. And create that workflow. There we go. Now it's saved. All right, I had an invalid property somewhere. Let's see if I can find that. Yes, the ID, of course. Now let's create that. 
So now I have a flow and the next step is of course to upload a file. And the best way to do that is actually go into the OneDrive app and find my KDemo site, the procedures. And there I can upload a document right away. Find one of my documents here. That's the one I want. Now that's uploading. So I should get a little pling here soon when it's uploaded. That's my little pling, and now it's uploaded. There we go, now it's uploaded. Now I can go back, and let's see my, the approval request got sent here also. So that's my approval details. That was the notification I got from the app. This is my Flow app, and here you see that it's under approvals. If I go into my Outlook app, you'll see that I have it there also. And if I look here, then I can see the link to the item and I can approve from there also. But the best looking way and the easiest way is of course to continue to use the Flow app if your users have that installed. So I'll approve that now and just confirm at the top there. I'll confirm that. And done. You're all up to date, excellent. So I can see my flows, hasn't run recently, but if I refresh that now, I should eventually see that it has run, be able to see the history there eventually. Anyhow, let's go back into my SharePoint list and I'll do that in the browser now. Find the procedures. And if I choose to view this as the list instead, I can go out here and see that it has indeed been approved. There we go. So that concludes my demo. I have created a flow that sends approval requests on uploaded documents in a SharePoint document library using totally my Android device. Thank you for watching this demonstration.